Hey friends, welcome to Nag Graphics. In this video, we are going to draw this abstract background design in Adobe Illustrator. We'll be working with Mesh tool and we'll complete the design by using functions of stroke properties and blend operation. So let's start with it now. First of all, turn off this align art to pixel grid button and make sure that smart guides are on. Pick rectangle tool and draw an artboard sized rectangle. Remove its stroke and fill it with black color. Now deselect this rectangle. Set the fill color to this magenta color. Now pick mesh tool and click here to add a mesh point to this rectangle. Press Ctrl key to temporarily activate the selection tool. Click outside the artboard to deselect this shape. Now as you release the control key, you are back with mesh tool. Now change the fill color to this dark blue. Now click here at this spot to add another mesh point. Alright, now come to the layers panel and lock this rectangle. Now get the pencil tool activated. Double click this button to get this dialog box and now set the fidelity to full smooth. Okay, now zoom out a bit and draw a freeform path like this. Change the stroke weight to 10 points. Open stroke panel. Change the cap option to round cap. Turn on this dashed line option. Here enter 0 for dash value and 20 for gap value. Change the stroke profile to this width profile 4. See this. The big dots are starting from this side and then they are decreasing in this direction. But I want these big dots to start from here. For this, press this flip along button to flip its direction. Alright. Now change the stroke color to white. Keeping this path selected, press Ctrl C to copy and paste it by pressing Ctrl V. Place this copy at this position. Keeping this copy selected, double click this scale tool button and here under uniform value, enter 40%. Alright. Now select both these paths. Come to object menu, blend and make blend. Double click this blend tool button. Select specified steps. Here enter 70. Now let me move this blend shape aside. Pick pencil tool and draw a freeform path like this. Now select this blend and this path come to object menu, blend and pick replace spine. Adjust it like this. Alright. Now keeping this blend selected, open transparency panel and change the blending mode to overlay. Keep it selected, copy it and paste its copy in back. Now the copy in back is selected. Open the transparency panel. Set the blending mode to color this time and change the opacity value to 20%. Now double click on selection tool to open this move dialog box. Enter 10 for horizontal movement and 2 for vertical and press OK. Here we have created a shadow effect for the dots. And now for the final move pick rectangle tool and draw an artboard sized rectangle. Press Ctrl A to select all the shapes drawn. Come to object menu, clipping mask and choose make. And here our design is ready. I hope you like this tutorial. We'll be waiting for your comments and reviews. Thanks for your time. See you in the next tutorial.